Okay, paw print staff members, welcome back to another exciting screencast how to tutorial. Uh, this tutorial will describe how to resize images using Picasa, how to export those images, and how to attach those images to a fog bugs case. So let's get started by clicking on start, going to all programs, and selecting Picasa 3 from the list of options. There we go. Little, little happy, happy upload. So we'll notice that we have uh, these were some photos from a, a previous screencast, and we want to uh, to upload them. Now, there's two sizes of photos that we want to export. So let's start by picking a photo. Um, let's think here. This, this is a great photo here. Check out my my awesome hand and the way that the camera's turned down. So I'm going to start by exporting this photo. Now I need two sizes. I need 300 by 200. That's not negotiable. And then I need 1024 by 768. Uh, also not negotiable. Now 1024 is the width. Of that that definitely is is a winner. 768 could be um, plus or minus 20 to 50 pixels. So we'll select File up in the top. We'll select Export Picture to Folder. And uh, here we're under Export Location. I'm just going to select the desktop because I'm going to go back and well I'll explain that in a minute um, name of exported folder how to upload photos and resize now I want this to be 300 notice that the uh, the field here says 320 that's not good enough I'm going to select that delete it and type in 300 uh, let's see here I'm going to export this photo using the export feature And it's going to export it. That's what this little area down here says is uh, is going on. And uh, it opens up the uh, the folder for me to uh, to have a look. You notice here on the desktop, there's an image called "How to Upload Folders," and here is a uh, here is an image. Now, it's important for the webmaster to know what size it is, so I'm going to select this photo, I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to say underscore 300, because I want him to be able to notice this. And I guess as long as I will, so I'm here, I'll rename this to camera. Okay. So I have one of my two photos, but I need another one. So I'm going to go back to Picasa here, and again select file. Export to folder. I'm going to use the slider to take me out to 1024 here. And I'm going to select export. It's going to do its its job here, and it should pop up in a minute with, uh, with the same directory. Yep, here it is. Now it's, uh, it's important once again for my webmaster to be able to know the difference. I'm going to select this. I'm going to say uh, camera in hand underscore 1024 to give uh, give the webmaster a bit of a break now I have uh, I've exported my photos out of fog or uh, rather out of Picasa but I'm not done yet so notice I had to export two into two sizes of the same photo and I need to get those into fog so I'm gonna open up a web browser here a little large, so I guess we need to resize that. I'm going to go to the fog bug site, which is a HTTP colon slash slash. Here we go. UH pop. Oh no, that UH. Let's think. UHS pawprint dot fogbugs dot com, and we will uh, let the magic happen. Fog bugs is of course a a beautiful tool the the core of, of very much everything we do and uh, I hope you are as excited about fog bugs as I am uh, that's another story so I'm gonna log in here I am um, Justin at justinboy.net and there's my password log in and Gonna find the uh, the project that I want, which is um, Paw Print Web in this case, and 
I know the file I need to find, but uh, just to kind of help me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna select this open by link because I want it to uh, to sort my cases based by uh, who opened them. And here I am teaching students to attach photos. That's my case. So I will click on that. I'm gonna select edit. And I'm going to attach a file. Select browse. It's gonna open me up with a, a file uploader. I'm gonna select open up my directory. We're gonna go with 300 here. And I'm going to attach another file. Select browse and grab the second. So now I have two files down here. Now, uh, good journalism, especially good photojournalism, uh, allows the people who are in the photo to be named as well as the, gives credit to whoever took it. So I need to tell the webmaster these things. So I'm going to start by saying, uh, let's see, uh, hello, webmaster. Thank you for uploading my photos. Your champion. Um, this photo was taken by Justin Boyd and it features um, teacher. Uh, let's think. I should probably give a title. So this was a student. I would say senior or junior sophomore. But this is a teacher so we'll go with um, English teacher uh, Justin Boyd's hand or epidermis. Let's, I need to obviously learn how to spell epidermis, so I'll right click here, and it's with an IS instead of an ES, not a problem. And now I am, uh, I am done. So I know who took the photo, that would be Justin Boyd, and it features the that top my title in this case English teacher and uh, Justin Justin Boyd's hand or, or epidermis now uh, I would select the assigned to and this would generally go to John or um, in this case John but it might go in the future to Alex Geselin or whoever the webmaster is so um, you select them and say okay and now these notes will go off into the uh, onto the internet with the images and everyone is happy and we can see in the case here that there are two images of uh, vastly different sizes and look at look at how nice my thumb looks there on the camera now a word about why we need two photos so we're going to go to uh, the paw print website uh, uhpawprint.com take a little look-see here and uh, because it's, a, it's important that you understand why we need two photos. So, this is booting up, booting up. Here we go. Okay, so we'll see the 300 by 200 image is the image that shows up both uh, in the banner here as well as uh, kind of in the post itself. So, uh, we'll select this post and you'll see that uh, this photo appears a little bigger here in the 300 by 200 but some people want to see these images fairly large so we'll click on it notice that the, the photo is going to expand here and that is the larger 1024 by 768 photo that expands and that's uh, that's really handy because uh, as you can see this this ref here is is in perfect motion and we want to be able to see that in, in a larger larger photo so we're going to close out of there so either way, whether this is going to print or going to the web, it's important to have different size photos. And we do that using Picasa. So save your webmaster and yourself a bunch of headaches and use Picasa to upload photos and to, to give individuals the, who took the photo and who are in the photo the credit they deserve. You can really help streamline this process if you do it right. So on that note, thanks for stopping by another Paw Print Screencast. Have yourself a spifferific day.